So many people think that one Bitcoin is equal to one Bitcoin, but is it true? Let's find out. So, well, when people say that one Bitcoin is equal to one Bitcoin, they means that they mean that the, 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 the value of the Bitcoin is equal. So if I give you one Bitcoin or another Bitcoin, the value is always one Bitcoin. But that's not true. And the reason why this is not true is that Bitcoin is not a fungible token. What, what do I mean by fungible is what, what the definition of fungible is that um, one uh, coin is equal in value uh, nominally to another coin so for example if I have one euro and I give you another euro those two euros <coughs> are the same their value is the same so I can pay you with a banknote or another banknote and if it's equal in value nominal value then it's equal also in the in value and mm, we have that fungibility in, with cash uh, by it's by uh, by law and uh, it is a legal status and uh, that's not true for bitcoin for example and the reason why it is not true for bitcoin is that yeah, you, you can see the history of a Bitcoin. So for example, if you have a Bitcoin and you can follow its history backward and you know that, for example, this Bitcoin comes from a history when somebody is, let's say, shady or he, have done, he has done some deal with people that you do not like and when I say you, I mean state do not like well if you have this this case then uh, your Bitcoin is let's they call it tainted so uh, your Bitcoin is tainted and because we know its history and we know that it is tainted we can um, block it let's say I'm a merchant I see that you are trying to pay me with a tainted Bitcoin I can refuse the payment and I can basically receive your Bitcoin and I can send your Bitcoin back to you and not not giving you the, the product and this is uh, how and why Bitcoins are not fungible tokens so for this reason one Bitcoin is not equal to another Bitcoin because as I said a Bitcoin with a history can be deemed tainted while a new bitcoin freshly minted bitcoin has no history so if i pay you with a bitcoin coming from freshly from a miner uh, you you will surely accept it so what does it mean in practice that means that if i can prove you that my bitcoin has no history or that my Bitcoin has a clean history. When I say clean, I say that there is no shady things. Well, then this Bitcoin has a higher probability of being accepted. And for this reason, we, your Bitcoin can be spent in many different markets. Uh, to buy many different products and for this reason your Bitcoin with no history or a clean history has more uses than a Bitcoin with a dirty history in conclusion the Bitcoin with a clean history has more value than a Bitcoin with a dirty history so not all Bitcoin are the same and saying that one Bitcoin is equal to one Bitcoin is wrong. There are today 
no cryptocurrencies where you can say that. For example, you cannot say one Monero is equal to another Monero or one Zcash is equal to one Zcash. You cannot say that because right now all cryptocurrencies have the blockchain, which is all public cryptocurrency, all public blockchain have a public blockchain, which is public, which everybody can see and uh, mine data from it and analyze it. And therefore, we cannot say a priori that that these coins are fungible tokens. And so you cannot say that one Monero is equal to another Monero. And this is a big, big liability in using cryptocurrencies right now. And of course, Monero right now uh, is better in this sense than Bitcoin because uh, you many many things are hidden from people you you can hide the the transaction amount you can hide uh, you can hide the transaction amount you can hide the, the 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 sender and the receiver there are a lot of good things about Monero and right now nobody with the new implementation have is capable of uh, no something uh, sensible about you with the new implementation but the crucial point is that right now nobody is able to uh, in the future we do not because the blockchain is actually public there are a lot of hidden uh, a lot of hidden hidden parameters so there are, there is no sender and no receiver in the blockchain there is no uh, there is no amount in the blockchain so maybe this is better but we do not know and also uh, when we say that we have privacy remember that we say that we have privacy in the blockchain just analyzing the blockchain so for example if i have access to your cookies or your browser history maybe i can know something more so i'm only talking about data on the blockchain and so this is it. One Bitcoin is different from another Bitcoin. 